you can get it down before you get here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't feel it. All right, I've got one o'clock call a special call meeting to order, December the 8th. Um, I'd like to ask Brother Coleman for a word of prayer. Let's our heads. Father God, we just want to thank you for another Christmas season. We thank you for this meeting that we're coming into. We ask you to be in the midst of it, Lord. And Lord, we just thank you for all our families and our friends and our hearts. And Lord, we just ask you to touch in this meeting that we get an understanding of your word and that everything falls in place that we need. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. <clears throat> thank you, David. I'll give you all some time if y'all didn't have your packets um, to go over the minutes. Um, after reviewed, I'll ask for a motion to accept the minutes as read. I'll make a motion. I'll second. I have a first by Jeff, second by Stacia. All in favor say aye. Aye. Polls like side, motion carries. Okay. I don't have nothing on the agenda for old business, and I don't have nothing for new business. We got eight seconds. Huh? I'll pass that up, pass Tara up too. <laughs> Tara, do you have anything? No. Not in the two weeks. <laughs> That's all <I'll> do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Now you have your financial reports. After reviewed, I'll ask for a motion to accept the financial reports as read. I'll make a motion. Got a first by Tony, second. second by David. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed aye. like sign, motion carries. Thank you. Um, no old business, no new business. Um, I will say on the information, uh, anybody that wants to help out next Saturday the 16th to uh, come up and help us out with the Christmas on the Square, there'll be things for us to do. And I, I've talked to Jeff and, and his wife are going to help out as well to do, just to do a few things there. What time? Um, so if you could get here probably maybe around 10-ish because it starts at 11, uh, that would be perfect. And then uh, they've got Gillespie Street done. Uh, they black topped that today, and um, I just dis with discussion with Jeff and them. I'm, we're going to go on and pay that bill, and then we're going to send uh, an invoice out to the city or not the city, but the hospital up there for the ten thousand that they promised us. So. Um, that's all I've got. I know that Jeff gave us a few things here on um, abandoned properties. I'm going to have Jason to look at some of that as well and um, go from there on that. Mayor, I'll, I'll, I'll jump in on that. There's been, I, I know there have been some questions and Ronnie had stopped me asking what I need. And it's hard for me to take action without a citation or a final order from the code enforcement board on some of that. So those are those are things that will have to be issued. So that needs to come that don't need to come from the code enforcement officer. It needs to come from the board itself. Well the way that we have it in our ordinance is if a citation is issued and it's a rehearing is not requested, that becomes a final order. And that can be that can lead to abatement, which then a lien can be filed. But for me to be able to recoup that lien and foreclose on that lien, then it has to be something that the affidavit for the amount owed and everything is of record. And I think there's been a little bit of disconnect on that. Yeah, I think there's a big disconnect on that because I know three properties I know for sure, Locust Union and a Church Street, when I was at Code Enforcement, I sent these citations, left the door hangers, citations, and all that stuff. So I'm sure at least if, we have records where we sent that stuff. Right. As long as the final order's in the file, that's great. It's just if we did do some abatement on behalf of the city, 
then we've got to get that affidavit of lien of record, and then I can move forward. So well, that that could that be backdated from whenever? It could be. Yeah, it's an affidavit just saying if we did it. It doesn't have to be backdated. It just says that on this date we did it. If it's signed today, that's fine as long as it references when we did it and what we actually did. Okay. It's just a sworn statement saying this is the abatement cost All right. that the okay. city has. So I don't think we ever did an abatement cost like that. We, we've never seen anybody to clean it up or anything like that. So if we don't have an abatement, then then that's kind of where we're at. Otherwise, we just have a final order saying there's a fine. So if we actually go out and mow or we do some sort of abatement procedure, that's how we get a lien. Okay. Okay. So, so then we can move forward from that direction from what we discussed a while ago for cleanup at this time. Right. I think there's been a little bit of frustration and whatnot they're like well what's going on but that's what i have to have from a legal standpoint right. but the city wants that final order that citation and or final order from the code enforcement board is issued that gives the city authority to abate and then from my standpoint then we have to move forward that's, to that's like that abatement. property over there by terry chance yeah it? that's the one on union yeah uh, we've been you know we, they had uh tree damage uh we went over there bush hogs and everything and have you sent notices on that one as well? Yeah, I think those people actually, the address was like in San Francisco or yeah. somewhere like that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we sent multiple stuff to them as well. All right. All right. But as long as you have that recorded citation, and it, which if no hearing was requested and it's a final order, that gives the city authority to abate on based upon that particular violation. But it's after that abatement, and Lisa, you're, you're aware of the lien. I'm talking about the affidavit for the lien. It's just how many man hours and or plus the fine and that we get a record. Then I can I can do my part. But it's hard for me to do anything without having that taken care of. What property? Would well, you know the, which ones we're talking about? I think it's like it's maybe 402 Locust. Uh, it's over there behind. And the then car. the other one. Is the end one? Yeah, that man you talked about before. Yeah. Yeah, one on Union Street, I don't know that it's going past the, the mobile home park. And I know it's yeah. that last one or what. Yeah. I know it's a really long ordinance, but that procedure is spelled out in our ordinance for our code enforcement. Once you get past the, the citation for the, for the code enforcement officer talking about abatement, it's all listed in there. Okay. So if we get it. All right. And the other one was on Church Street across from the Beth and Billy Wood. Church Street. I think I failed to do property. Okay. Okay, so let me, let me ask you a question too. So talk, okay, so the local street address. So say, I, I think all those heirs and everybody has passed away. There's nobody it's not left. uncommon, right? Yeah. So could a citizen go and just purchase that property? How how would that work? No. So if the, I mean, the city I know has some unpaid taxes on it as well as we. We should, we, well, I know you've got some citations on it, so if we get any abatement liens from, from for mowing or anything, we could foreclose on that. I would have to get everybody before the court, and then it would be subject to auction, okay. and then somebody could buy it that way. Uh, without finding somebody that has an interest in the property and getting a deed from them, you wouldn't really have a way of purchasing it, uh, possibly purchasing a tax lien, but just paying the taxes. Some people get confused. Just paying the taxes is just giving somebody a nice Christmas gift. So you actually yeah, have to right. purchase it at the tax sale. But, so it could go to the yeah, tax but, commission. Right. But I would really, that that's what I would do. When I say foreclose on a lien, that's what I do is I, I have to have a lien, which isn't just a citation. It should actually be that lien of record. And then I can foreclose on it. I can recoup our taxes, which we've talked about, mm -hmm. and all this. But one of the reasons I haven't taken that action is because I know some of those are also subject to these liens that we need to get a record. Mm -hmm. So before I can do that, we want to make sure we have all of our stuff in order okay. and housekeeping. Okay. What about the property down on uh, all the apartments down? Union and Oakwood? Well, on the down corner. there by River Bend. River Bend. Oh. That house that fell in. Yeah. Ellis's? Yeah, I mean. He's repairing it. Yeah. He's, he's made mental lawn. And little on kids, I've seen them over there the whole day playing. Medical. Somebody get hurt over there. Anytime we send notice to him, he usually tries to do something to abate it. So he's not really been subject to the AVR liens, I don't think, at this time. Mm -hmm. So I guess, Lisa, will you find all that out for the, for the um, next meeting? Hey, Jason? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. On some of these abandoned properties that we've cleaned up here and there do you have any record of 
of the man hours at this time uh, that they've done on it. I know Chad was writing stuff down. Will you have Chad to look at that and give that to Lisa on the man hours on each property that you all have? I was keeping up with them at the moment. And I've got another one uh, for you to go look at. It'd be uh, 402 Locust Street. It's right there behind the garage. No, no trailer. No, about growing up, yeah. I was going to say, they got a tree growing up. So will you go through there and have one of them to clean up that with bush hog or something and jot all these hours down on that? Anytime that you all do anything like Louie's property over here, we try to just document it and give it to Lisa, and that way we can take care of it. No problem. All right. Thank you all. Uh, Jeff, do you have anything? A uh, question about the uh, boat ramp. Did we ever find anybody that destroyed the picnic table or anything like that? No. Uh, I know that Roger's got cameras set up now, but... Um, so did you do some mitigation, try to catch them, I guess? Yeah. With them? They're trying, because we fixed it here all back where the water washed it off. Well, they stole the rope off the... Yeah, they stole off a rope. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's just... The big body, yeah. yeah, they stole all the air here all back. And then... Uh, they, uh, where the water had washed off, they you know, went down their sand, they fixed it, and we went back down a couple of days later, and of course Chad about blew a gasket because where he fixed it, they went back down and went full with it. But, you know, they patrol, and what they do is when they do something like this here, it's part of that kind of They know where the law is before they even do it. Yeah, they'll do it down. They've started toilets out of them. And if y'all seen that park, horrible time. you've been down there and seen the new pavilion? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks great. Yeah, it's We're great. gonna put blacktop patch around the holes and all that. The guy kept apologizing for what happened was we did, we was going through one guy that worked for him. He wound up quitting and mm -hmm. leaving him hanging. And the way this guy had it drawn up, I, I said, I don't want it like this. I said, I want the holes in the ground. I said, cut squares. I'll put black top patch down. They just want to bolt it to the black top. I said, no, they mm -hmm. But the guy kept apologizing. They've done a good job. And then, no, but everything I went down there we'll go, we cleaned up all the scrap and stuff around it. So and they're supposed to be down there now putting two picnic tables under it. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. And a lot of people utilize that and a lot of people not talking about it was happy that you know we put something down there. Oh yeah, absolutely. I just hope it continues to stay yeah. Yeah. Nothing else for me, Mayor. All right. Thank you. Mr. Common? No, sir. I just want to say Merry Christmas to everybody. Absolutely. And, you know, have a good New Year's too. Lisa, do you have anything? I don't have any further. Stacia? I don't have anything. Jerry? I say all I need to say. I <laughs> <laughs> have a few words. Tony, you have anything? All right, yes, you all have a Merry Christmas. Um, you too. Uh, call this meet. Uh, do I have a motion to adjourn, motion to adjourn this adjourn. meeting? Do that every time. <laughs> I make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> I have a first. Second. Say goodbye, Tony. All in favor, say aye. Aye. aye.